Okay, I got my little alert station here. Um, been messing around with these lithium ion batteries. Uh, got a couple of laptops and uh, pulled the cells out of them. I'm building a electric bicycle. Here's my motor. It's a 500 watt, 24 volt. I've got the twist grip. Controller box, motor, and I got some lead acid batteries on the way, which I might convert over to crystal cell. I'm not sure yet. Uh, we'll see. But anywho, um, yeah, so I have a bunch that are like way under voltage. I guess one was uh, 0.6, and it kept going down while I was testing it, so I don't know, so it might have a short inside or something. This one was 0.2 and kept going down. Uh, these two uh, were 2.66 and 2.68, and I uh, brought them up with a, it's a lead acid battery charger. It does 12 and 6 volt. But, uh, it like, it, it like auto, oops, sorry, <laughs> trying to get these, uh, probes together. I don't have any alligator, uh, things, so I gotta kind of work with what I got here. But, anywho, um, so yeah, so, bend this down. So it does 6 and 12 volt, but it like auto adjusts the amps, and uh, yeah, and uh, like it, it'll shut down when it gets up, I don't know, like when it gets close to what these are supposed to be, it shuts down. Um, but anywho, these were 2.66 and 2.68 uh, together, they should be like around 8-ish. Uh, 7.6 now. So, uh, yeah. I think I charged them up a little. Uh, and then I got this one right here that I just did, actually. I did this one a little earlier. I think it was a little higher earlier. I'm not sure if these are any good. I think they're dying out. I got some other ones that are good, though. And they take the charge from that, no problem. This one's still a little warm, actually. <laughs> Anywho, uh, sorry for the awkward view. I'm doing this with one hand. I don't know how some of these guys do it. I see some guys doing whole videos with just one hand. I'm like, how? How are you holding all that? All right. So yeah, that one was point zero zero three, and now I don't know what the heck it is. Oh, huh, there we go. Oh, I see it's moving around. <laughs> so yeah, now it's like 3.3 or 2. This other electricity. Oh, that really did warm up though. This, this one I kind of pushed it with. Just to see uh, how much I could get away with. Okay, there we go. It's on there solid. Let's see, there's the wires. Three point three. Two, three, two, three. Let's get that much. Maybe that's like. All right. So it looks like it's like the high end of three point three at the moment. We'll see if it stays that way. I did some other ones and they stayed. So uh, that's what them ones are in the background. That pink one there. I scratched out the number it had and put on what it charged to. Uh, I actually put all three of them in line like that uh, and charged it on the 12 volt setting. And they came up to 12 volts. Well, 11 and some change. I didn't really push it. I, to, I didn't want to waste three if it didn't work, so I decided to do it on a little one. 
So yeah, so that's going to be 3.3 .3 now. <clears throat> I just want to charge it up to 12 volts. This little pack here. That's going to be a little easier to do one hand. Pretty cool. So for all those people that are like, oh, there's no way you can't do it. They'll blow up. Well, I mean, it got warm. You know, I didn't push it. It, it got pretty warm. Not like too hot to touch, but and it, it's got some heat to it. Uh, it actually feels good on my fingertips right now. My fingers are freezing. Uh, the charger's out in the garage, so I keep going out there. Uh, but yeah, there you go, folks. Um, it's, it's probably shortening the lifespan of these, but I don't think he's had very much lifespan anyway, so... I don't think it'll make that much of a difference in the scheme of things. Plus, I'm getting other batteries, and I'm looking into the crystal cell batteries. Uh, especially if they're piezoelectric, because then if I put them on my bike, every time they shake around, they'll charge up. I'll probably have to wet them down every week or two, though, to get them to harden up again, though, because it'll probably break them up pretty good. But anyway, yeah, so that's what I've been doing. Cause I'm not blowing glass lately because I don't have a studio set up right now I need somewhere to I need somewhere to melt so in the meantime I'm getting an electric pipe together that's all thanks YouTube peace